country are looking for ways to make ends meet. And in Montgomery County, Maryland, administrators are considering construction of a cell phone tower at a 12th county school, all to increase revenue. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live in Germantown tonight. He's got more on this plan. Kevin? Hi there, Scott. This is what the cell tower at Daly Elementary School looks like. As you can see, it's fenced off, but still close to classrooms and measures more than 100 feet tall. Many parents at nearby Nielsville Middle School are now speaking out in hopes of preventing construction of a similar tower there. Eleven Montgomery County public schools have cell towers on their property. If approved, Nielsville Middle School in Germantown would be the 12th. Discrimination. Gina Sartucci is with the Parents Coalition of Montgomery County. She argues schools with high poverty rates are more likely to get stuck with the controversial antennas. According to MCPS's own data, 81% of its cell phone towers are at schools where at least a third of students are eligible for free or reduced meals. To put that in perspective, less than 5% of students at Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda, which successfully fought off construction of a cell tower, are in financial need. The cell towers are going up in the poorer neighborhoods. We're seeing this also in Baltimore City, in Anne Arundel, and in Prince George's County. The same trend is appearing across the state. But MCPS contends its cell tower program makes money, netting nearly 900 grand last year alone. Administrators also insist they listen to parents, telling us by email if the community doesn't want a tower at the school, it isn't built there, plain and simple. Plain and simple, the community didn't want this tower and it's up. So if we're going to talk facts, the fact is this community did not want this cell tower and it stands behind us. Now the American Cancer Society says there is no proof to support the theory that cell phone towers can cause harm to human health. Even so, opponents challenge MCPS to provide them the name of one community that has requested a cell tower be built next to their school. We're live in Germantown tonight. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.